And to my own beautiful leaders, Elder and Sister Williams, and all the saints of God, I want you to pray for me as we get to our sub theme for tonight. The title is Be a Good Example of the Believers. Now we're dwelling with being a good example of the believers. We're not going to dwell on negatives tonight because in recent months we've seen a lot of negatives happen in the church. We've seen people that millions of people looked at, millions of people thought were living the life. We've seen them, the spotlight was turned on them, and we've seen they wasn't living up to par what they said they were living. But let me tell you, no matter what happens, God still got some people. God still got some people who are going to walk this life, talk this life, and live this life. Somebody went to the doctor one time, and the doctor gave them wrong medicine. And other people heard about it. But you know what they said? That's not going to stop me from going to the doctor. Because I'm going to still go to the doctor do right. Because I know he'll give me the right medicine. Somebody went to a lawyer one time. And the lawyer gave him bad advice. And other people heard about it. But they said that's not going to stop me from going to the lawyer. Because I'm going to go to a lawyer who I know is going to do me right. Sometimes people go to teachers and teachers give them wrong advice. They give them wrong instruction. But that doesn't stop them from enrolling in school. Because they say I'm going to go to the teacher who's going to give me the best instruction. Well, that's the way I feel about the church tonight. That's the way I feel about holiness. That's the way I feel about this ministry. I don't care what else happened over here, and I don't care what else happened over there. I thank God I got a place I can come to, and I'm going to be preached the Word of God. I'm going to be preached it by Reverend Preach Me Right. That's my preacher. My apostle, teach me right. That's my apostle Mary. How you feel about it tonight? Oh, I know that full gospel is where God wants me to be. Our scripture tonight is 1 Timothy 4 and 12. And then when we leave there, we're going to go to Titus 2, 6 through 8. Let's read 1 Timothy 4 and 12. It says, let no man despise thy youth. The word despise means to condemn, to put down. Don't let no man put down thy youth. One thing we must realize, all of us are not 80-something. All of us are not 60-something. All of us are not 40-something. But one thing about it, everybody in here who's older than 20 has been a teenager once. Everybody's been young. You might not be everything you want in life, but you're going to be young. Some things you can't escape. You can't escape being 12 years old. You can't escape being 16 years old. You can't escape being 18 years old. You're going to be young. But I'm going to let young people know, let no man despise thy you. Don't let nobody put you down because you're young and you're living for God. It says, but be thou an example of the believers. Found out a long time ago, you can't worry about non-believers. Don't worry about people who don't want to live this life. When you tell them that Jesus is real and they don't want to hear the message, don't worry about it. When you tell them that God is on the move and they laugh at you, don't worry about it. When you tell them that Jesus is on the main line, you can tell them what you want and they laugh in your face, don't worry about it. Don't worry about non-believers. God got enough for believers over here that we can make it from earth to glory. Be an example of the believers in word. You got to watch what you say. I don't think we got to rap over here to get the message across. I don't think we got to believe in Reverend Rhyme. Reverend Rhyme rapping from head to toe. I don't think we got to rap the message. But I think we can just stand flat-footed and tell the gospel message that Jesus is on the main line and you can live this life. You got to watch it in word. Watch what you say. Watch who you say it to. Watch where you say it. Watch how you say it. Know when to say it. And know when not to say it. Be an example in word. People today hung up on this. I'm going to give you a piece of my mind. If you do me wrong, I'm going to give you a piece of my mind. I don't like what you said. I'm going to give you a piece of my mind. They throw a piece of mind over here. And they throw a piece of mind over there. And they throw a piece of mind back there. And they throw a piece of mind up there. And then the day they just living on a piece of mind. Because they done gave all they mind away. Hallelujah. Be an example in what? Be an example in your conversation.
conversation. Watch the way you live. Watch the way you act. You can say you're saved all day long. You can say you're holy all day long. But I heard somebody say something, and it's so true. They said your actions speak louder than your words. When you love God, you'll live the life. When you love God, you'll walk the life. When you love God, you'll talk the life. Because your actions speak louder than your words. When you see me, you don't hear me talking. When you see me walking, all you can go by is what I got on. My actions speaking louder than my words. Watch your conversation. In charity, people got the word love mixed up. They love everything today. I love to eat. I love my car. I love my clothes. People loving everything. People loving anything. But you got to be an example in charity. How can they know that we are his disciples? But by the love that we show one toward another, by the peace that flows from breast to breast, by the happiness and by the love that's in the house of God, you got to be an example of the love that you show. Be an example in your spirit. Your spirit is your attitude. God ain't got no moody people. God ain't got no people you can't talk to. God ain't got no people who won't shake your hand. God ain't got no people who won't praise the Lord. God ain't got no people like that. You can't be moody. Sometimes people, you speak to them on Monday and they love you to death. You speak to them on Tuesday and you can't get away from them. Then you see them on Wednesday and they won't say a word to you. God ain't got no moody people. Hallelujah. Somebody needs an attitude adjustment. That's what they need. They need God to work on that attitude. See, when you get in the right attitude, you'll show God gratitude. And you'll say, Lord, thank you, because you've been so good. Lord, thank you, because you've been real. you got to come to church with the right attitude. you got to be an example in faith. you got to believe in God. People today act like they don't believe in God. But there is a God in heaven, and he's sitting high and looking low. Not only do you have to believe in God, but you got to believe God, and you got to believe in holiness. The last thing they said be an example of was impurity. Be clean. Keep your mind clean. People today think about all kind of filthy things. Keep your mind clean. The Bible said, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are lovely, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, you ought to think on those things. You got to be pure. The Bible goes on to say, keep thyself pure. Let me tell you what's wrong. Too many people think the pastor's supposed to keep them pure. It's not the pastor's job to keep you pure. It's not the pastor's job to keep you holy. All I can do in my classroom, I can go to the board and I can show you how to divide. I can pass out to you the steps to division. I can have examples on the board and I can divide and divide and divide all day long. But if you're sleeping and if you're talking and if you're not paying attention, you'll never learn how to divide. Let me tell you what the old folks say. You got to pay attention. Hey, you got to pay attention. Folks today don't want to pay attention. They don't want to hear nobody. They hung up on the latest fashion. They hung up on the latest haircut. They hung up on the latest color. They hung 
up on everything but Jesus. But you got to be sober-minded. And sober-minded means to be self-controlled. See, I can't get away from that. It's self-controlled. It ain't nobody else making me do it. It's self-control. You got to have some self-control to live this life. Ain't no can't help it over here. You know, I did that because I just can't help it. Every time they bump into me, I got to hit them. I just can't help it. When I come to church, they better leave me alone because I, I just can't help it. You know what folks try to say today? You know how I am. Yeah, I know how you are. And then you wonder why I go this way when you come in this way. I know how you are. Hallelujah. You wonder why I just got a high and a bow for you because I know how you are. You got to be sober. When you're sober, you can see straight. Drunk people see what they call pink elephants. They see things that are not there. When you're drunk and you're not sober-minded, you come to church and you see things that are not there. You see people do things that they did not do. Why didn't brother so-and-so shake my hand? If that's the least of your worries, you ought to be grateful. Why didn't that sister say hi to me? If that's your hardest trial, you ought to be grateful. That ain't nothing no more. Just because I look over here and he look over there, that don't bother me no more. I'm sober-minded. When you're sober, you can think straight. People that they thinking all confused. They thinking in their own mind. The man of God can say, Jesus loves you, but they think it their own way. The man of God can preach and just look over your direction, and they think he's talking about them. Yeah. Oh, but when you're sober-minded, you can think straight. Yeah. Drunk people talk crazy. Oh, crazy. Saying all this off-the-wall stuff. Sometimes you sit next to folks in church, you don't know what they're talking about. What you trying to say? You ain't saying nothing I need to hear. Everything happened in church is good, except when you sit by them. Didn't God move last night? Yeah, but, uh-uh, I don't have time. Didn't we shout good last night? Yeah, but, did you see so-and-so? No, I didn't see so-and-so. I was too hard shouting myself. this drunk people walk right drunk people walk crooked sober-minded walk right drunk people walk on staggering they just drunk you see them on the street you all oh, he drunk they walk one step forward two steps back three steps forward four steps back and that's the way some folks are been saved 85 years, so to speak. Walking two steps forward and three steps back. They've been saved 50 years. They walking four steps forward and five steps back. But holy people can walk right. You know how straight you can walk? You can walk so straight till after church, you can leave your seat, walk straight to your car, and ain't gotta go by that sister's car. Tell me how you doing. you doing that's my girlfriend that's your what that's my girlfriend and she thinks she his girlfriend I'm his girlfriend you his girlfriend on Monday cuz he got another one on Tuesday he got another one on Wednesday he got somebody else Thursday you got to be right. Let me read this next one. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. In doctrine, showing uncorruptedness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. You got to be uncorrupt. Don't let nobody change your views. 
Don't let nobody change the way you feel. That they may be ashamed. In leaving you, I want to tell you something that has helped me down through life. You meet these people. They talking about you can't live this life. You can't walk it and you can't talk it. But let me tell you one thing. When I meet somebody, they got to come up to my standards because I'm not going down to theirs. If you want to be my friend, come up to my standards because I'm not falling down to yours. If you're cussing, you can't be my friend. If you believe in drinking and partying, you can't be my friend. Come up to my standards. I'm a believer. I'm a true believer, and I'm going to be a good example of the believers. Pray for me.